Where is that secret? Is he out here somewhere? Hmm, I don't see him. See Are you looking? It's in there, Dad. Where? Over there. Over there? He's in there. I don't know. He's in the kitchen? We're getting warmer. See him? No. Maybe you're too high. I think you're too high. Maybe you need that one so you can see. No. I'm not too high. You still don't see him. Hmm. Maybe you should I don't see him. Get off daddy's shoulders. He might be low. Not over here. Where are you going to look next? You see him? I think I do. Yeah. She's too tall, Kyle. You're gonna hop down so you can see better? No. Well then maybe you should look down. Are you looking straight ahead or looking down? Where are you looking? I see him right in front of me. Right in front of you? Yeah. It's in your ball. Oh, that's silly, Seagully. Naughty Seagully. Naughty? <laughs> He's naughty? Why? Because he was in your box of holes. Oh, don't you think he's trying to just help me? Open my stress stitch advent. I forgot to look at the colorway name again. Oh. Wow. It's a really pretty blue, and I'm just so surprised by the yellows and blues in this advent of this year. I'm excited about it. I think it'll look really awesome. It's awesome. I'm wishing I knew what the colorway name was right now. <laughs> and I'm opening my stitch marker advent now. Oh, cool. Just a plain Mickey, which is really nice. Now I'm going to open day 16 from Bitten Mitten. And I also am kind of catching up on that advent, so I will also open day 11. I just picked them because they're pink. <laughs> well, 16th, I picked the 11th for the match. <laughs> and I, those colorways are announced on Instagram and on their website, and so I'll just put those on the screen. I didn't want to look because then I would see the color right. It's like a cream white with these yellow and black speckles. And to me, it's looking pretty accurate on the camera. I cannot see yellow and black without thinking of my very first job. My very first job, I was a high school math teacher and the school colors were like this yellow and black. So it should be fun to see what the colorway name is so I can think of something other than my first job. I mean, I loved my first job, but <laughs> okay. 
and 11. Okay. The key to opening it in a better way is to open where the tape is. <laughs> tonal pinks I love it that'll be fun I'm excited to know what these color names are <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some of my name projects so I feel like I haven't shown those on my blog messes lately Okay, I'm back at grabbing name projects. Of course, I'm mid-row on my red vent cardigan. I finally picked this up yesterday and did a little bit of knitting on this. I had set it aside because it's sort of not a priority um, in terms of some of my goals, but I was just watching the We Share Needles podcast and Maddie was talking about making time, like watching Vlogmas and like enjoying purling. And it just like made me feel like motivated to make sure that I'm making time for like myself in this season. And so I pulled this out and did a bit of knitting on this after I edited Vlogmas last night. So I stayed up a little bit and watched some podcasts and some knitting on this. I love this color. I'm knitting flat now. So you, this is showing this so awkwardly. So you knit in the round and then you switch to knitting flat. And then and this is the body and this is one side the body and then I'll knit the other. So it's really fun. And I'm using all my stress knits, I bet. And there's going to be a lot left over too, which will be fun. Here's my bag. This weekend, I started a sweater for my mom. So there's some of the color work. It's top down. There's some short rows. It always looks kind of funnily and strange at the beginning because this is my third Soldana. So it's, it is actually pretty mindless for me because the color works pretty intuitive and such up some stitches. My knitting jewelry, I'm using Elsa. And I'm using the cutest progress keeper that I think matches, which is this hot cocoa thing from Tilly Bakes. This yarn is Leading Men Fiber Arts yarn that my mom purchased from the Mouton Rouge Knittery. And then my mom was going to knit this for herself and I had Told her summer I had this idea that I want to make her a sweater and maybe she could she's got a large yarn stash maybe she could send me some yarn and so she did and then of course I wait the week before Christmas to start it but my goal is to get split for the sleeves by tomorrow night which I think if I do that I'll be on track to finish it for Christmas <laughs> I do believe so so, yeah, I'm just, I think it looks really cool. I don't remember all the colors. I do remember this color here is called Sugar Plum. A whole lot of all the colors, they look really good. And I actually knit myself a Soldana out of Leading Men Fiber Arts. And so I used my 
Soldana as the gauge swatch. Now obviously that's different colors, but it's the same base yarn, so I'm hoping that's good enough. Yeah, that's really fun. I love the Soldana. I was thinking it would be really fun in the fall to make a Halloween one. Bull Baron Advent and let's see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm need to do today's, but other than that, I'm caught up. So I'm just basically gonna be doing a tube of the 24 stripes, and then I'll do the toe and this, and then do a cut and heel. I did start a second sock. I think it would be ideal to do a stripe on both socks a day, but it just it didn't happen for me, and that's okay. So I have the second, at least I have the second sock started. So I think this is really fun. It's looking like that they're every, like, four colors, there's a red stripe. The theme for the Wool Baron 24 stripe event was the song Oh What a Night. So I think that's fun. This bag, this Christmas bag, is something I've had for a long time. Probably in 2013 or 2014, like when I lived in Illinois, I did like a swap with some people on Ravelry and it was like a Christmas swap and this was sent to me and the person made it. And so this is the only Christmas bag I have, but it's perfect. And I love these kind of vintage looking Santas. So, so I'm keeping them in. And that's all my updates about my knitting. I just said that was all my updates about my knitting, but I realized I didn't talk about something I'm wearing. This may not look like knitting, but it is. Basically, I made a bunch of these last year for Christmas. The yarn is Alpine from Sidar, and it's a furry. You can't even see your stitches. I made Matilda a bear out of it last year for her birthday or Christmas, I can't remember, and I think her birthday, and then I realized how fun it was that to knit. It's super bulky and it goes really fast, and so I just would cast on 64 stitches and then just knit a tube. And I think this cowl took two skeins to do it that way, and so to me it was like the perfect gift knit, so I did want to share that. <laughs> Kyle, are you going to say hi to the people? Hi, people. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a mood today. I'm fine. <laughs> Just a day that feels right to give you a hard time. So, there's part of me that wants you to talk about one of your hobbies that you've been doing down in the garage, but you probably don't want to talk about that, do you? No. <laughs> that sounds weird now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that, like, was that intentional? <laughs> no, it came out really creepy. Can you <laughs> give them like a hint about one of your hobbies? And, what, and maybe why you don't want to share too much about your hobbies? Um, Might be a little edit here because I had to edit some stuff out because I was giving some spoilers to Christmas presents. Choppy chop. To, of, I was giving some spoilers to Christmas presents. But it's unfortunate because Kyle has this really cool hobby craft he's doing that I want to share with people because I think it's really cool. But he is making me keep it secret and it's like it's eating you up. It is eating me up because how long have you been working on these things? Since the uh, summer, right? Know, since the summer. Yes. So I've been, keep, supplies and... I've been keeping a secret. I mean, really, if you talk about the other part of it, it's been doing it for over a year probably. Yeah, so Kyle has this hobby for a year 
that transformed into a second hobby. I've been having to keep a secret since the summer because he's making Christmas presents. Are you making me a Christmas present? Let me see. <laughs> if I you may have made her a Christmas present. If you made me a Christmas present, are you going to give it to me before we leave for traveling? Or are you going to give it to me on Christmas? Or are you going to give it to me after? I don't know yet. <laughs> because if I give it to you beforehand and you wear it, I might give away... Your hobby. The hobby. This is a secret. It's ridiculous. It's hard for you. It is hard. I'm not the best secret keeper. Like... <laughs> yeah, not, so, not at all. Sometimes she tries to be a secret and she can't keep a secret. No. Or be sneaky and she can't be sneaky. I always catch her. I think my favorite recent sneaky story was Kyle's mom was visiting and dad was visiting. I just well, we did a little Christmas shopping downtown and I really just wanted a candy cane tea latte. But I didn't want to like have to buy one for everybody and bring it home with a drink carrier. So I get my candy cane tea latte. I walk around town and then I think I have fully disposed of the cup. But the sleeve on the outside of the cup, I left inside the car. And so Kyle comes in and he like holds up the sleeve and he's like, did you get a latte? <laughs> That's my recent one I can think of. Yeah. But it's a good example of I'm not able to, I'm not good at sneaking. Yeah. Even like a coffee. <laughs> not sneaky at all. Although, you have no idea what I got you for Christmas. Do you? Nope. Yeah. I learned one thing. What? What thing? That game. Oh, that's right. You so, weren't even trying to be sneaky, I don't think. I was think, trying to, actually. I don't really know what happened there. But. I really don't know what happened. I was and then instead of, like, <laughs> just using a different idea for a yes. answer in the question. Yes. She showed me the one that she wants to do. What happened is, is Kyle... Gave it away. It's not a big video gamer. Like, I wouldn't call you a gamer. Nope. But you do play occasionally mm. occasionally yeah. he'll play I don't remember what it's called an Xbox yeah. is that it? Yeah. I've never played it there's different versions of the Xbox I was getting confused and I asked for some clarification questions and in the process of that basically gave away what game I was getting him it was terrible mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I said but I was just saying excited about my game. I am excited. There you go. I don't really know anything about it and I haven't looked since, but. Do you remember what game it was? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll still wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't hardly have any games for his Xbox. And the reason why I was getting him one is because he only has two games and you finished one of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, there's still more to play it. But oh, okay. Finish like the, I don't know what to call it even. Mm. Anyway. That's how much of a gamer I am. Yeah, like, it, I would say you're a casual gamer. Yes. And that counts to maybe one hour a month. If you're lucky, one hour a month, honestly. Yeah. Like, one hour a month on a good month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, we've really rambled here and you're like mr wilson from that old well, show what am i supposed to do I, you put your little face in there my arm's way out here there you go yeah i bet people like to see your face i think yeah you see. <laughs> all right you can press stop on that so i finished wrapping Matilda's presents and Kyle's presents today. So that was exciting. I didn't take any video footage of it. So then I decided to hop on here and tell you that I did wrap. And right now I'm just going to hop into the gym really quick and ride like a exercise bike there. I would normally like to ride my bike outside, but I just, I haven't been in this weather. 
It's actually really sunny today, so I maybe could have taken a bike ride today. I don't know. Anyway, I'm at the gym. I thought I'd share something funny. What's my gym bag? First of all, my gym bag's a knitting bag. <laughs> this is a bag from Ritual Dyes. Knitter's backpack. And in it, I have my Kindle. In case I want to read a book on Kindle. And I have my headphones so I can listen to an audiobook. And I have my sock knitting. <laughs> so, and then the other basic gym supplies, but <laughs> I thought you'd think it was funny, the things I'm bringing to the gym. Or maybe not funny, but you might appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, I gotta shut this phone off and watch it. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> Zach says that you got RKF, resting knit face. <laughs> you give me a, a little smile. <laughs> I guess it's not resting then. Can you go back, back natural again just to show the people you're resting in it face? It's a little hard to do it on the spot. You goofball. Okay, pretend I'm not videoing you right now. I'll just pretend just like that. <laughs> I feel like my vlogmases keep ending. Well, anyway, this is kind of awkward because I'm like centered here, but I just thought I'd put my Christmas tree in the background. Anyway, I feel like my vlogmases keep ending kind of abruptly without me saying goodnight or something like this. So... So I'd stop on here and say goodnight. We did have a little outfit change. I ended up putting a different call on today. Um, also, I made a lot of progress on my red vent for me. I finished this color, did this whole color today, and then started Earl Grey. I think this was indoor. Yeah, this is indoor jungle. And then I started Earl Grey. I'm getting very close to finishing this half of the sweater because Earl Grey is color 11 and so then I have two more colors after this and then I get to start the other half. I'm so excited about that and I'm caught up on my sock advent knitting. Hey Kyle, you should uh, show the people your sock advent. I haven't showed it in a while, and then we'll say goodnight. Oops! <laughs> Here we go. It's looking good. And then I got my little progress keeper I put in Kyle's advent. Put it on your sock, huh? Mm -hmm. It's from Tilly Bakes. Anyway, say goodnight, Kyle. Good night. <laughs>